Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to drop shadow text in Photoshop. Okay, so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got this one image I downloaded from Unsplash. I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description. Let's go ahead and open up Photoshop and we'll create an image 1920 by 1080 at 72 dpi and we'll just leave it as white background, that's fine, we'll click create. Let's take that image and drag and drop it into Photoshop, hold down the Alt key and then use the mouse uh, to just drag this image out so it fills up the whole canvas. So I think this sort of position is pretty good. Let's click on the move tool to deselect that image and then we can actually click on the image and drag it down a little bit if you prefer to do so. So we want to add some text but we also want to add a drop shadow to it. So let's go ahead and add the text tool here, the text tool, and we'll click on the canvas. I'm just going to type in drop SHA shadow here, right? And we'll click on the move tool so we can move that drop shadow to sort of this position down in the bottom hand corner. The reason why I picked this particular font color is you know, you could, if I were to left click out, you can see it's pretty hard to read. And this is where drop shadow kind of helps to make text a little bit more legible, especially when they're similar colors, right? That's in this example. Let's click on the text object. And on that particular layer, you want to double click on the left hand side. So just double left click, and that brings up the effects control panel. And then we can go to the drop shadow here and click it. And now you can see the drop shadow effects making that text much more legible to read, right? You can change the opacity of the drop shadow here. You can change its angle of position. So if you want it to have it at a different angle for whatever reason, you can change the angle here. I'm going to leave it at sort of 90 degrees so this drop shadow is below. And then you can change the distance, right? Where does it drop? So you can change it and bring it down and adjust it slightly. But I kind of want it to be around sort of here. So I'm going to set this value to 15. And you can change its spread as well. So you can make it bigger or smaller the way that the drop shadow spreads. And you can change the size of the drop shadow here as well. Right, so you can go and experiment and see what really works for you. So I'm going to set it these two pretty low values 15 19 and 21 and one other thing i like to do especially when the text and the drop shadow um are um or the text and the background is kind of a similar color i like to add an outer glow as well so if we turn off the drop shadow you can see the outer glow just adds a little sort of a uh, border around it you could use the stroke as well to do something similar but i kind of like outer glow because it has a little fuzzy sort of edge to it um you can change the spread on that as well to just increase it a little bit to make it a bit more prominent and then slap the drop shadow on top of that as well and now you can see that text is much much more legible let's go ahead and click this OK button here. And in this example, we're using red text on a red background. And that's a good example of using drop shadow where the text is not so legible. So if we were to click on it, double click on effects and turn off the outer and the drop shadow. And now you can see it's not really that readable. And we turn them back on. This is quite readable. And then this is even more readable, right? Let's go ahead and click the OK button. So that's how I go about adding drop shadow to text objects in Photoshop. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Let's go ahead and minimize this. That's the end of this tutorial, and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.